In a landmark ruling, Rachel Wright Turner, a former council chief who suffered from post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, after assisting Grenfell Tower fire victims, has been awarded a record £4.6 million payout in a lawsuit against her former employer, the London Borough of Hammersmith and Fulham. This historic decision comes after a grueling six-year legal battle, during which Ms. Wright Turner faced disability discrimination and harassment before being unjustly dismissed from her £125,000 a year role. Ms. Wright Turner's ordeal began when she developed PTSD while serving as a humanitarian assistance lead at Kensington and Chelsea Council, aiding those affected by the tragic Grenfell blaze. The trauma of the experience left her struggling with vivid memories of the tragedy, impacting her mental health significantly. Subsequently joining Hammersmith and Fulham Council, Ms. Wright Turner's condition worsened after a triggering incident during a meeting with superiors led to a panic attack, requiring hospitalization. Despite her genuine struggles with PTSD, senior council officers falsely claimed that she had been intoxicated before seeking medical help, further exacerbating her distress. Moreover, the tribunal uncovered a disturbing pattern of misconduct within the council, including lies and manipulation by former Chief Executive Kim Smith and HR Director Mark Grimley. They fabricated information to justify Ms. Wright Turner's dismissal, concealing her mental health issues and disregarding her dedicated work with Grenfell survivors. Ms. Wright Turner's harrowing experience not only took a toll on her personal life, leading to the collapse of her marriage and financial struggles, but also highlighted systemic failures within the council. The tribunal's ruling, awarding her £4.6 million in compensation, reflects the severity of the injustice she endured due to Hammersmith and Fulham's unlawful conduct. While Ms. Wright Turner acknowledges the substantial sum awarded to her, she emphasizes that no amount of compensation can undo the devastation caused by the six-year legal battle. She expresses a desire to clear her name and restore her reputation, lamenting the toll the ordeal has taken on her family and well-being. Despite the council's apologies for Ms. Wright Turner's suffering, they intend to appeal the decision, disputing the perceived excessiveness of her claim. However, the tribunal's ruling stands as a significant victory for Ms. Wright Turner and a crucial step towards accountability for the mistreatment she endured. The case also sheds light on the broader aftermath of the Grenfell Tower fire, with revelations about the prevalence of PTSD among survivors and the immense challenges they continue to face in its aftermath. As the community grapples with the long-lasting impact of the tragedy, it underscores the urgent need for support and justice for all those affected.